been said many times, many ways. Merry Christmas. Hello, YouTube. Welcome and welcome back to our channel, The Big King Family. Oh, today I got a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. And I went to the Dollar Tree and I picked up some items. You know, like when you get ready, Christmas is just a day away. Today is the day before uh, Christmas Eve. And, you know, tomorrow we're going to start doing all our cooking and everything. So what I did, I was so happy to be able to go to Dollar Tree and get a little bit of my uh, last minute items that I needed. So here go some of the items that I really needed last minute from the Dollar Tree. Okay. Let me see. Let's get right into it. Some honey. I had got some honey. This is called the Hive Five. And this honey, it don't be being that big, but I know some grocery stores you can go into and pay and three to five dollars, upwards of five dollars for a little thing like this of honey. And um premium blended honey flavored syrup. I don't know if this is the for real honey, but they do serve um they did a they did a test on this one time before on the honey and dollar tree and dollar tree do do sell i don't i don't forgot what brand it is but they definitely sell real honey in there for a dollar and this is eight this is eight ounces i probably need some glasses this is eight ounces of honey okay so we're gonna move along to the next thing also we made it a little bit more sugar, just a little bit more. So we just got this box of sugar. One pound of sugar right here. So we have plenty enough sugar. One pound of box of sugar. You can always go there and get you some granulated sugar when you need it. Okay. These are some last minute items for the Christmas dinner that I didn't have to go into a busy big grocery store to try to get today. Okay, I also went and had got this flour. This is two pounds of all purpose flour. Okay. We need this for some of our baking that we'll be doing tomorrow. I'm so happy about being able to get this flour there. And this is two pounds for a dollar. And then uh, you can get the four pound bag sometimes for almost three dollars. So I don't know, it may even out with per pound how much you're paying. But I had to run out today and I wanted to run out quick and make my, sh my grocery shop pretty easy. I'm definitely trying to switch to online grocery shopping. I'm trying to, but with fries, I have to go to fries, period. It is what it is. Okay. Ooh, brown sugar for my husband, Candy Yams. He definitely needed some brown sugar, and I went and got this um, this uh, sugar also. These are just one pound packages. Yep, just one pound from CNH. Okay. Also, I got, I'm gonna do this first, the ground cinnamon. I, that's what you get when you don't look in the shelf first. I got back home, looked up in the shelf, we already had some ground cinnamon. That's why I really wanna get like some spice racks. So I can just look on the rack and see what we got, you know. I really want to, but that one got some ground cinnamon can never have enough. So now we got two things of it. And this is a pretty big thing, 2.25 ounce, like a bigger thing. Ground cinnamon, okay. Then I also needed some garlic powder and they actually had some garlic salt. They did have garlic salt, but um, they did not have any garlic powder. And I try to keep the sodium down around here some as much as I can. So I went ahead and got this garlic pepper seasoning. I believe it's like, it's kind of, I believe it is garlic powder. I even look salt, garlic, black pepper, oregano, sugar, and phosphate. Whatever that means. Okay. Um, but it do have that salt in there. But I don't know. I thought I was going a little bit better with picking up this garlic pepper seasoning. We will just use it for a while. We usually buy it in bulk at Costco or Sam's Club. A big thing of garlic powder. So that would definitely be on our list for our next month grocery shop. But I did get this in order to put to season the dressing. And uh, maybe the ham. But I doubt I put on the ham. The ham is going to be like some kind of glaze on the ham and all that. You know. So then these, this uh, don't have much to do with Christmas, but I did pick up two more items that I just saw. I did pick up these turtles. From, my husband's favorite thing is turtles. So I picked up these. I actually got two of these. He's already eaten one of them, but I did get these for my husband. He's glad to get that. Something to snack on. And I also got some zipper sandwich bags. This comes with 28 in there. That's not bad. I do plan on bulking, bulk buying these sandwich bags. But for now, I'm going to pick these up with 28 in there. I don't believe that's a, a, a bad deal at all. At all, 28 bags for a dollar. Okay. And last but not least, I did pick up 
this not last but least because i got one more item so sorry you guys okay i did pick up this family feud card game and on the it's like this okay and what we're gonna do on christmas day is we're probably gonna split up into teams i think it's like it's nine of us but two of them are little bitty babies you know i have a two-year-old son doing a bud and i have a four month old grandbaby tink tink so we have those two that would not be playing i'm sure and i will probably so i think it's seven of us it's six seven eight eight of us so we do need to be in teams of four but somebody may sit out so teams of three anyway on christmas day i plan on doing this family feud game and the cards on the back and show you how they're doing it you may can't you may can't see it I don't think you can see it, but I'll read it out to you. It says, name something you would order online. And then it got clothes, food, books. And they got to pick one of the top six answers. So that's what's on the cards. And uh, we're going to play. When they get three that's wrong, they go to the next one. And uh, whichever one, steal it or get all of them right. Gets the points or whatever. Or just wins that round. That's just kind of how I'm going to do these cards on Christmas. Family Feud. That's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, last but not least, I got these. I got three of these. That kind of what came off on my thing. I got three packs of these buttons. Three packs of these buttons. And they come with 90 buttons in it. It's 90 pieces. Buttons, okay? And I'm going to use these for... I'm going to use these for bingo on Christmas. On Christmas Day, I do plan on doing bingo, and I needed something to help mark the spots and stuff, so I did. I thought that these buttons right here would do just right, but they have some little pieces in Dollar Tree that are pretty much just right for bingo, but I would have had to buy five instead of just three of these. I want to really switch out, but I might just continue to use the buttons. I think I'll just continue to use the buttons, because going back, getting five packs will just defeat the purpose. I'll be spending more money. No, I'm just going to keep the buttons. But they do have those um, little pieces in Dollar Tree that I could use for the uh, spacers, right? So for our bingo game, we wanted to go buy a bingo game. They five to ten dollars, sometimes upwards of fifteen and twenty dollars. I don't know how much they're running now, but we did not get a chance to get the bingo game. So I printed out some bingo cards just right on the printer. I printed that one out. You know, some of them a little bigger than others. That one out. I printed this out. You know, just some little bingo cards. I just printed out right on my printer. I'm going to show you guys one more. And I printed that one out also. I printed out a total of about 10 to 15. I think it's about 10 to 15 different cards. Okay. And then so we can use those. Okay. So we got our cards. And we got our markers. That's what you call them, Our markers. Okay. And uh, from, in order for me to call out, I got a Ziploc bag. And I shook it up. I printed out like a whole sheet. I printed out a whole sheet thing of the numbers and letters that you're supposed to call out. They were all on the sheet at first. They were on one sheet at first. And then I went through and I cut them out. I cut them out and like this one right here is G55. So I cut each and every number out. Whoa, you know, <laughs> I'm doing too much. But you know, this was a free game of being kind of like awesome which really a three dollar a three dollar game of bingo because these right here i bought from the dollar tree so we're going to use these for markers i printed out our cards and then i cut out each and every number letter that i'm going to call out what i'll do i'll just shake it up real good i'm talking about good as i can and then i'll be pulling one at a time lining them up probably right here on the counter because they'll probably be right there in the living room um marking their numbers as i call them out and then i will just have somebody stand by them and call the number i'll let them know if they got it right and we're going to do bingo on Christmas. We're going to do Family Feud, bingo on Christmas, and we're also going to watch a movie. We're going to eat dinner, and everybody bought everybody a gift. So that's a total of eight gifts that each person had to buy because we bought each person a gift, and we pulled for that. So that was just, this is going to be a fun day for Christmas. I'm looking forward to it. I'm so excited about it. Um, I thank you guys for joining me. I thank you guys for listening to me, and I hope you guys... Uh, can take some of these tips, you know, run to the Dollar Tree sometime when you, when you don't feel like going to the bigger grocery store. You can really kind of get things all done. And um, until next time, YouTube, stay blessed.